Autry Precision Engineering welcomes you in 17th Kaysen Conference. We are in the field of manufacturing of nuclear reactor components, windmill components and BrahMos weapon launcher system. Nuclear reactor generates carbon-free electricity around 30 countries in the world, which uses radioactive fuel to produce heat and generate steam from water. This steam is used to drive the turbine which produces electricity which provides us comfort at our home. This is nuclear reactor. Its important element is cooling system which consists of primary sodium pump. This primary sodium pump is a big assembly consist of shaft called as PSP shaft. You can refer number 6 in the diagram indicating PSP shaft. This shaft has some up turning and grinding operations at both the ends. This primary sodium pump shaft has length of 11.5 meters and weight 7 tons. You can imagine how big it is. PSP shaft is the important element of India's first prototype fast breeder nuclear reactor, which uses thorium as a fuel. India has an interest in this project as world's second largest proven reserves of thorium situated in India. This is our Kaizen sheet. These are our team members. Prakash Posley, Gajan and Gunjavati, Rajendra Rane, and Dini Shuvikar. We done this Kaizen on HEC lathe machine. Our Kaizen theme is to eliminate grinding variation. We will save by animation. PSP shaft we hold on HEC lathe machine. This is HEC lathe machine. This is heavy duty lathe machine for big components. The main area of concern is at the tail stock and where grinding is to be done. On these two diameters, grinding is to be done and concentricity to be maintained within 0.02. How do we do it? We have specially made grinding attachment which slides along with the apron and grinding is being done. The main area where we are facing difficulty is this area where there is a validity of 70 microns which is not acceptable as it should be within 20 microns. So our Kaizen theme is to maintain the sovality with an acceptable limit of 20 microns. In this area of the Kaizen sheet we have mentioned present status and problem. Now there is variation of diameter at tail end. How we have done the analysis I will show the animation. This is the area where there is a grinding problem. From the recent video I have shown you, you can notice that as shaft is bigger than the machine, the machine is extended by 1.5 meters. This may be the cause of ovality. First we have checked the rigidity of the grinding attachment and we found it alright. Then we have checked the alignment of bed as apron slides on it. It is also not having a problem. Then we approach towards rack and check the alignment, and that also found OK. At last when we check the joint of feed rod, it is found faulty. It is rotating out, because of which when apron comes over it, apron jerks by small amount. In the animation we have exaggerated the outness to make it visible, but in actual it is only up to 100 microns, that is 0.1 millimeter. This jerking of the apron causes grinding attachment to jerk and eventually grinding wheel also moves, definitely this is the cause of ovality 0.07 which is at the tail end of the PSP shaft. So, PSP shaft and its 0.07 ovality which must be rectified, as it is the most important element of prototype fast breeder nuclear reactor. What needs to repair it? Remove the shaft. Remove the apron. 
and separate the feed rod from the machine for rectification. Repair this joint by loading it on the another lathe and take clean cut to remove the outness. Though in animation it looks simple, to dismantle the machine but in reality it is definitely not. It will take 30 days in total and repair cost rupee 109,000. Including machine downtime. Customer requires the job before the month of March. Even turnover of the company is getting affected if it exceeds March. Job must be completed before March. Hence 30 days downtime of machine is not acceptable. From where we got our idea. Aerial refueling, also called air refueling or tanking, is the process of transferring fuel from one aircraft, the tanker, to another, the receiver, during flight. The procedure allows the receiving aircraft to remain airborne longer, extending its range or loader time on station. This is mainly to save time and effort. This way the refueling is done online, rather than offline. Time and efforts are saved for going to offline. Similar to aerial refueling. Can we machine the feed rod on machine? Rather than off machine. Our idea is not to dismantle the machine and said repair the feed rod on machine itself. So what we have done. In the animation you can see the bracket, which is fixed on the apron facilitating holding of single point HSS tool, which is used for turning the feed rod. This way the machine repaired its own part. Don't you think it's something different? Eliminating excessive efforts which might have lost previously. It is just a small idea. You don't believe on only animation? We have the video. You can notice that in this video that cut is taking place on one side only, and this is due to outness of feed rod. This is the tail stock end of the PSP shaft where there is variation in grinding. This is the actual setup of the machine, much more complex than the animation. The animation is just simplified to make you understand. At this part of the Kaizen shade we have mentioned the ID and countermeasure. Here we drawn before and after sketches to make you understand. Here there is a photo of the arrangement. This way, we have saved 109,500 rupee repair cost and 30 days of downtime. Repairing done with minimum cost and within 5 hours, machine element is repaired by machine itself. The time and fatigue involved in old method is eliminated by small idea. In this way defect is reduced to 0.01 from 0.07 and time required to rectification is reduced from 30 days to 5 hours. So this is our Kaizen. Small idea with zero investment. You can ask questions if you have any queries.